Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sipnewski, and thank you so much for popping by my channel, where we're doing another tutorial for LumaFusion. So I think with these LumaFusion tutorials, what I'm going to do is focus on one thing in particular in each video, keeping it short and sweet. This way, instead of watching a 30 minute long video that covers half the stuff you already know, if I just make them in short little segments, this way you can go to the one thing that you want to know, done. So in this particular video, what we're going to focus on is side-by-side -side video, and that's super easy to do in LumaFusion. But if you know you're gonna be doing side-by-side -side video while you're making your video, keep that in mind. And instead of you know centering one thing in the center, the very middle of your frame, either move it to the left or to the right, whatever you're focusing on. Because whenever you're doing side-by-side -side video, you know, having two videos in the space where one video is meant to be, things are gonna be cut out, things are gonna be cropped out and lost. So if you know beforehand you're doing it, just do it that way. This way it's gonna be easier for you in the final edit. So let's go ahead and dive right on into it. All right, got the B-cam up and going. So let's launch LumaFusion. Now the video that I'm gonna be using of myself is irrelevant really because I just want to show you how to do the gist of the side-by-side -side video. So let's go ahead and import some clips from my iCloud Drive. Grab a clip and drop it on the timeline. So if you've never worked with LumaFusion before, whenever you drop something into the timeline, it's automatically going to go all the way to the end of that clip because it anticipates that you're going to drop another clip right behind it. But if you want to layer up your clips, we'll just tap that to get back to the very beginning. This way, I'm going to go ahead and layer it up together. Because if we, let's say we didn't do that, okay, and let's say that it just brought us to the very end. If we went to drop in the next clip, it would drop it right there. It would be out of sync. So we always want to make sure that we're at the very beginning whenever we're doing side-by-side -side videos. Okay, so now what we want to do is edit each one of these clips. So we'll just go to this one, double tap it, and this is going to bring us to the properties window of this particular clip. Now, let me just go ahead and make a decision right now that this particular clip is going to be on the left-hand side of my screen. So what I wanna do is just grab this and move it to the left. Okay, and that looks pretty good always keeping in mind that this is going to be the center. So now what I want to do is crop that portion of this video out. So we're going to go to cropping, going to go to right, and just crop that to where I think the halfway mark would be, which is about there. Okay, so we're done. Let's go back to the main timeline. Double click on that one. And now what we're going to do is just drag that one over to the right. Now we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to crop out the left-hand side of that. Okay, that looks good. Oh, now you can see here, I didn't do it just right. We're gonna go ahead and make this Looks good. Okay, so there you go. And that is how you do side-by-side -side video in LumaFusion. Easy peasy. One, two, three. And that's literally it. That's all it took. Just a matter of going in to edit that particular clip, moving it, and cropping it. Going into the next one, moving it, and cropping it. And that's it. That's how simple it was. So until next time, guys, you know what I'm going to say? Wear your sunblock.